Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Red Matter 2 Overview. One of the best looking games for Quest is finally back. I did play a little bit of the first one, but the playthrough on it back in the day failed due to technical issues. It's one of those that I wish I would play all the way, but if you fight back with the headset, sometimes it's gonna bite you in the ass. So I just hope I'm gonna be prepared story-wise for the sequel. So Red Matter 2 is an adventure puzzle action game this time around. We're gonna explore space stations and space in general to discover what happened after Red matter events and fight it yet again. Well shit, I guess I should have done the research on it. It is essentially our lone echo for the quest platform. It's kinda a broad statement due to the features and stuff, but that's pretty much the closest thing we'll get anyways. I also mentioned action because it seems like we're gonna shoot stuff around and defend ourselves from the station's defense system or something. Red matter or vertical robot in general are very well known in terms of graphical polish design and pushing the limits of the hardware, so I'm sure it's gonna look great, no reason to be doubtful here. My only hope is that the storyline is gonna translate for someone that did not complete the first game and it will still make sense regardless or even like do a small recap of what have happened, that would be nice. It should be a very solid release. In terms of playthrough, I'm not sure yet. It's something up my alley, I just need to verify that. I'm not gonna be pointlessly wandering around and be confused what's going on for the most part. Let's go back to Red Matter. I can't believe it worked. Sasha? Is that you? Are you alright? How do you feel? Uh, of course. Y you may have trouble speaking for a while. I've had to transfer your mind into a different body. It was our only shot at pulling you from the simulation safely. I know, I know. But you have plenty of questions, and I'll tell you what I can, but first... Let's get you out of here. Come on, we have to hurry. Well, it's no Vox Machina models. <laughs> the lightning. Like I'm watching the corners. I feel like the walls are moving for some reason. It feels real. <laughs> But I can see some textures like basic. It's still good, I'm just nitpicking. <laughs> this is the Atlantic Union's lunar base. Oh, don't worry, the body you're in belongs to the officer keeping you in custody. You're practically invisible. Just act normal and you won't attract unwanted attention. I should probably introduce myself. I'm an undercover operative here at this base. You can just call me Beta. After the Strelka N3 incident, the Atlantic Union captured and subjected you to an experimental procedure. A neural simulation created to extract information from deep within your mind. One more day in there and... we'd have lost you. Lucky for you, the Cosmo Bureau entrusted me to help you escape. Just follow my instructions and we'll get you out of here in no time. Yeah, I'm kinda lost. What's going on so far? Is that a Pokeball? <laughs> okay, first things first, you gotta dress the part. You're gonna need a vac suit to make it to the ship docked just outside. Oh. This looks nice. Very nice. Lone can look better, but it's PCVR. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> well, how about that? Fits like a glove, huh? You can operate the grippers by squeezing the triggers to grab and manipulate objects. Use them to open the sliding doors in front of you. Oh, I was faster. Perfect. I'm trying to open the airlock from here, but the power's out. You'll need a fuse to fix it. Search the workspace on the lower deck. The engineers always leave spares lying around. I'm at the fuse with the grippers. We have Alex here. <laughs> Mm 
Alhamora. If I extend the bridge any farther, it's just going to draw their attention. Okay, this is a perfect chance for you to practice using your suit's built-in thrusters. I can't jump there. Boost yourself with the jetpack until you run out of energy. Nice. Do the same to get to the next one. This time, you'll need to press the right stick to break midair. This will increase your precision when landing. Smooth. All right. Easy does it. Your jetpack can make it, trust me on this one. Just make sure you keep holding forward until you reach the other side. Ah, like gliding, okay. Good job. I'll open the storage unit. You're probably still feeling a bit disoriented from the neural transfer. This might help jog your memory. All these items were recovered from Strelka N3 after the incident. They were used to recreate the simulation you were subjected to. Your suit features a built-in scanning tool. Press the face buttons on the left side to cycle between your different tools. You can get additional information about objects that you scan. Try it out. This'll help to refresh your memories and settle your mind. Stas Volkov, your closest friend back at Strelka N3. He was shot and gravely wounded. Then, after the incident, just nothing. No sign of him ever since. We fear the worst. The reflections. I've never seen stuff like that. I know that sometimes when I was kind of things, the game was joking with me. <laughs> Where to progress actually? What's the objective? Uh, God damn it! I don't know what she wanted me to do. Oh, syringe. Shit. A scale model of Strelka N3. Highly detailed. It was used to generate the simulation's physical environment. Yeah, I was here. In the entrance, and then... Somewhere in the beginning. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's a... Dadalus logo. Great easter egg. The red matter. Very little is known about this substance. It was the spark that triggered the Strelka N3 incident. See the correlations to Luneko. Irina Sarova, Strelka N3's resident biologist. She was killed shortly before the incident took place. Arena and Stas were romantically involved. That sound. Weird. There shouldn't be anything still operational around here. Sasha, see if you can find out where it's coming from. A long range transmission terminal. Looks like it's picking up an incoming signal. How is that even possible? Use the right gripper to detach the interface tool on the left side. Once detached, connect it to the terminal's access port. Okay. It's... it's him. Sasha, you're talking. It's Stas. It's Stas. Stas Volkov, your teammate from N3, your friend? That, that... that's not possible. He was presumed dead. He is not. It's a distress signal. His ID is encoded in the message. That's great news. Okay, let's locate that signal. Of course that's him. Like I don't know games. 
Tosca Station? Tosca Station. We can reach it from here, but the clock is ticking. You have to hurry. Wait, me? Shouldn't the Cosmo Bureau be handling this? No, they'd never make it in time. You know him better than anyone else, so you're our best shot. I'm uploading the coordinates to the shuttle's navigation system. It'll be ready when you are. Adventure! Well, I don't know actually. <laughs> there seems to be some background that I don't know anything about. Better? What was that? I see you, you, everyone here. Just some stuff I need to take care of before I get out of here. I'll contact you just as soon as you've entered orbit. Understood, Beta. And thanks for getting me out of here. Hey, just another day on the job, right? Safe travels, Sasha. Flight plan loaded. Optimal route calculation completed. Initiating startup sequence. Engine parameters green. Systems nominal. All checks completed. Lift off in five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Huh? Those reflections, oh, sometimes kinda cover my vision. Sasha, do you read? I see you're approaching Tosca Station. Looks that way. What can you tell me about the place? It's a classified scientific research facility orbiting Saturn. Okay, but why would stars go there? Well, according to his file, before being transferred to Strelka N3, Staz was first stationed at Tosca. It's where he and Arena both met. He supervised base operations and assisted with Project Lazarus. Project Lazarus? It was Zarina's project. It's the main reason the place was built. I'd love to tell you more about it, but I'm not authorized to access that data. Don't worry about it. We'll find some answers soon enough. Proximity alert. Approaching destination. Initiating deceleration sequence. Thrusters. Ready. Main drive. Ready. Inertial dampeners. Ready. All checks completed. Here we go. You nervous? I've never done this before. Don't worry. It's all automated. Just enjoy the ride. Hailing talking beacon. Link. Established. Calculating approach vectors. Path. Verified. Initiating docking maneuver. I guess that's his spaceship. It's his balls. <laughs> Told you I'd be a piece of cake. That's gotta be Stars' shuttle. It is, yes. The ship is still broadcasting the distress signal. Wow. It is great, like, you have a sense of depth, like, nothing seems flat here. It's amazing. <laughs> Not much to say, honestly. The access terminal is working, but the entrance is locked. The doors won't open. 
Could Stas have done this? There must be a way to unlock them. Oh, my ship is... <laughs> a shaft and a bow. Okay. <laughs> well... Empty. Main power is out and systems are damaged beyond repair. This thing hasn't flown in a while. Huh. That checks out with the transmission delay. There's something downstairs. Can I go there? Oh shit, I actually can launch myself. <laughs> Oh, that's the Daedalus icon. Hello? What? Move the cursor and find the quick projection position to bypass the security lock. Oh, because it has a shape, okay. <laughs> Vlad is sending me a message. The virtual logic assistance drive? It's gotta be tapping into my suit systems via the access port. Naughty way. What's this? Damn the physics, okay. Oh. <laughs> Be good. The station is massive. How'd they keep it hidden? Space is vast, Sasha. If you're not looking for it, you'll never find it. Worked. Excellent. Let's get inside. Jesus. Of course, they're gassing me. Uh, what is going on? Uh, are you okay? Yeah, it's nothing. Just a slight headache. I'm fine. Hmm. 
<laughs> he's following me. But that's a good way to end it though. Here's the thing, everything's fine, graphics, gorgeous, the mechanics are pretty cool, audio design, dialogues. The problem however is that I don't feel like playing this and not the first one. There are certain projects that got away with it, but in my eyes it doesn't seem like it with the sequel here. Which is totally fine, there's nothing wrong with that. There were some quick recaps with the scanning and stuff, though it would take a lot from me to keep up and then continue this one, so I'm pretty sure we won't continue it regardless. It's polished, it's great, really no notes about it.